Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe. So today we are looking at making a Halloween bunting with our scan and cut machine. Okay so first of all we are going to make the bunting outline. So go over to your basics and look for the triangles and go, I know this has a proper name but the pointiest one, <laughs> I should probably know that. Okay, so it's the wrong way up, so we're just going to turn it over using our um, our edit menu. Now I'm making it a little bit bigger because it is too small, so I'm making it half the size of the mat just so um, we can fit more on basically. You can make them bigger or smaller depending on what you want to do. And now we want to make an inner uh, offset line, so I'm going to make it one centimetre, I'm going to do it inward. And it doesn't matter if you do round or bevel with this. Okay, so there we are. Now we just need to make sure that those stay together and we haven't got separate lines. So I'm going to pop on little holes. So I've got my circle basic shape and made it smaller and popped it in the corner there. So that's where your thread or your ribbon is going to go through. Now just copy and paste that circle so we make sure it's the same size. There we go. And pop it in the other corner as equally as you can to the other side. And there we have, but there we have all our shapes on our bunting. Okay, I'm just going to move that. Okay, so we want to make sure that none of these move. We want it all to be stuck together. So I'm going to select everything, go up to our edit menu. Okay. And then go to divide at the bottom there, divide. Okay, and what this does is it takes, as you can see, that triangle out of there. It separates them from the original shape. So our try our bunting has the holes and um, and the triangle in. Okay, so I, what I did was saved that as a separate project because I'm going to use it quite a lot. I'm going to make a few things with it, so I've saved it separately. And next, what I did was I went onto my scan and cut machine and looked at the the designs which are in the menu, and I just uploaded a few from there. So they're from the scan and cut machine but if you don't have those on your machine, I've got the uh, CM900, but if you don't have those have a look through Canvas Workspace and there are lots of projects that have these similar basic shapes and all I did was just download a few. Okay, so I've got my pumpkin here but I don't, it, he looks a bit sad like he doesn't have a hat <laughs> so he hasn't got his stalk so I'm going to use one of these triangles to try and give him a little bit of a stalk on the top let's go with that one okay so I'm just going to make that smaller and turn it this one and then the other let's have a look yeah he's looking no, that's that's the beauty of this. You can just play around. I think it's a little bit short, so all what I'm going to do is make it um, slightly longer by um, whoop, clicking it again. Grab one of the side circles, and there you go. Okay. So what I'm going to do to join those together, as usual, is edit and then weld. But ah, I didn't realise that these shapes were not like our our bunting. So what I need to do is select the pumpkin again, go to edit and divide just like we did with the um, with the bunting and you can see here it just separates those shapes from the face and makes the face part of the pumpkin. So let's try that again. Select all on the pumpkin and the stalk and we're going to weld it together. Okay, there we are, weld, and there we have a beautiful pumpkin. So I'm just going to move it over here, it's a little bit big, so let's resize it. 
as usual, we need to make, when we're welding things, we need to make sure that as many corners as possible are touching the sides of your frame. As you can see here, I'm just going to resize it slightly so it's, there's just a tiny overlap on three sides. Now I'm going to select all and weld it. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Perfect. But remember, if it doesn't work, just go to your back key. Okay, so I'm going to get another basic frame there. I've just gone into my projects and selected another one there. Let's pop it there. Let's have a few actually, why not? Because we're going to use them all. Okay, so basically I'm going to do the same with every single one of these Halloween-y shapes. So now I'm going to try my witch. As you can see, I'm just resizing her so she fits, so we can see every part of her while still keeping um, keeping every bit, touching as many sides as possible. I'll just make her a bit taller then. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's try and weld. Press our weld button in our edit menu. Ah, but can you see there? There, it's not touching. So what we need to do is use our back button, like I said. So we go back, so then unweld it. And all I'm going to do is just shift it over slightly so it's touching, it's just overlapping a little bit. Let's weld again and it's all secure. Fantastic. Now all I'm going to do is exactly the same with all our other shapes. I'm not going to go through, uh, through everything with you. Um, I just wanted to say, yes I'm using the preset Halloween shapes here, but you could use anything really. Um, any of the other preset shapes, you could even put letters inside, that would look really nice. I think I'm going to use these and then maybe uh, do the same with Happy Halloween. So it makes it a bit longer, but um, it's really up to you. You can be as creative as, as you like. You could put birth dates in there, you could... Um, do a nice Christmassy one. There are lots of Christmas shapes in your workspace. Just remember to look through the canvas workspace and even though you think oh, I don't want to do that particular project, look what elements are inside it because there could be something that you really like and even if you can't think of a project now, just um, take it out and save it for later. There's always a project later on that you could that you could do. Okay, so here this cat isn't quite fitting, so it takes a little while to just resize her. I'll say it's a her. I have a black cat as well. They're the best. Okay, I'm just going to resize, and once again, when uh, when she is finished fitting, I'm just going to um, weld. Now this one, I think, isn't so successful on the screen. However, when she's printed, when she's cut out, she looks great. So just remember that even if you look at something on your screen and think, meh, not sure, meh, maybe, always give it a cut just to see, because it often looks much better in real life than it does on your screen. Um, if you're not sure, just use some uh, scrap paper, whatever you've got left over, so you're not wasting your good paper. Okay, so for this one, I'm just, I've taken one bat and I am resizing it and just twisting it all different ways so it looks like there's a group of bats. Is that, I don't know what of, what lots of bats are called. Maybe someone could comment. <laughs> What's the collective of bats? Um, looks like they're flying through and this is one of my favourite ones. I think it works really well. I'm going to make that one smaller and try and get them touching as many corners as possible but as long as as long as you've got two I think that um, it should be okay. Let's select that all and weld again. I love welding. <laughs> okay 
So now we've got two more shades, but we're running out of space. So I'm just going to have a little reorganize of these shapes. So I'm going to select that one and I'm going to turn it upside down using our flip tool. OK, just so it fits a bit better. So you can either have it right up against the bunting next to it. So you're only cutting one line, but sometimes I find it makes it a bit messy. Um, so I tend to keep them apart, but um, maybe I'm just not being accurate enough. <laughs> so I'm going to get two more basic bunting templates. I'm just moving that out of the way for it. Oh, OK. Well, you can go down there and we'll keep the plain one at the top here. So we're going to put our, God, our skull, who is a little bit, yeah, let's stretch it out a little bit. And then we're going to pop it on there and do exactly the same as all the others. Now, while I'm doing that, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has watched my videos and said lovely things in the comments and on Facebook. Um, I just did this because I watch a lot of tutorials and sometimes um, I think it's nice to have new ideas and ideas that you don't have to pay for as well, because all of this all, all of the things I'm going to be doing are on your machine already. It just takes sometimes, oh, whoops. <laughs> it takes a little time to reorganize. I don't know what I did there. So I'm gonna go back and just divide those again. He lost his eyes and his eyes and his mouth. Let's do that again. Divide. There we go. Okay, and delete those extra bits. Yes, everything I do, I'm going to, you don't have to pay extra for because I know a lot of people feel like they need to go and buy SVGs and stuff off Etsy which is great but I prefer to do my own mainly because it's cheaper <laughs> um, okay so there we've got our skull resized and welded on I like that one that's another one that looks better on the other one okay so let's do the same to Mr Ghost and make sure his face stays in place. And we'll move him out of the way and then delete the leftovers and we'll pop him on there and just give him a little resize. So as I was saying, um, I've really enjoyed doing these videos. I've done three so far. This is uh, video number three, just before Halloween. And um, I would love it if any of you guys have any questions or you have any special things that you'd like me to help you make or any ideas about any occasions you have coming up and you'd like some ideas just either comment below or if you're on Facebook go onto my page or wherever you find me you just give me a comment and I'll find it okay so there we have it there is our gorgeous Halloween bunting yay Yay, and there we have it. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, then please subscribe and I will see you again next time.